So this is Phoebe. She's our little fur baby. Hi, Mama. Hi. So this is Phoebe. <laughs> Hi, Mama. She just likes getting petted. And this is the giant kennel that we brought her in. So she is mixed breed. We don't really know what breed she is. When we got her from the pound, they did tell my hubby that she was a Labrador mix, but she looks nothing like a Labrador. Mama, come here. Her weight at the time of travel was 51.8 pounds. And her length, which is from the tip of her nose to her booty, was 38 inches. And her height, which is from the tip of her ears, and as you can see, she has ears that stand up to the tip of her toes, was 29 inches. And because of that, we couldn't fly her on an XXL kennel. We had to get a giant kennel because she's so long, even though she's really skinny. So you can see that when she lays down, she has the required space. Her booty doesn't touch the back of the kennel. When it's touching the front and when it touches the back, it's not touching the front. With the XXL, she would be touching both ends when she laid down. That's why we had to get the Giant instead of using the XXL. So for the outside of the kennel, the stickers that say life animals, this ones, I took them off and then I realized I should probably save them for the video. Um, this ones, we put them ourselves. The red ones and this one that says life animals were placed by Delta. So we really didn't need to place stickers ourselves. Okay, for the top, obviously the bolts were not there they were attached to the kennel but they also placed this themselves we and inside was the information for our pet so we didn't need to tape the paperwork they did it for us and then they also put this sticker that says live animals and this basically had our information there and this was also placed by them and obviously this it says inspected we had also tape food um, to her kennel. We did not place any information regarding, like I've seen some people go above and beyond and they place like the animal's photo and like their feeding schedule, name, address, like all this information with the photo. We didn't do that. Um, it was not a necessity. I would, that's more like if, if you want to so for the kennel this is a giant and it did come with the doors we just took it off so it wasn't in the way we don't really lock her in her kennel or place her in her kennel um this is more like another place for her to chill and sleep but when we were flying on her kennel right now she has like toys and a ball when actually flying she was allowed one blanket and then we use this pad for it that we got from the store. I've heard that there's people that haven't been allowed to uh, place a pad in the kennel. They've only been allowed to place blankets, but we use this pad. Um, let me see. My husband got it from Petco, if I remember correctly. And it doesn't have any information here, but it's basically just padding for the kennel so we put that and then one blanket we had originally placed two but they only said one blanket and then the padding no toys she also didn't have her collar on and then for the kennel it had this window and this window but the back we had to drill it ourselves because it didn't have holes in it and this is how it looked um, so yeah, we didn't go so crazy with it, but we did need holes on the back ventilation there. Um, her kennel was also purchased used and it came with the scratches. We did get it off Facebook marketplace. The scratches were already there. Our dog didn't do those, but I've seen on Facebook that people ask, will they let me fly if there's scratches or damage on the kennel? So this is how ours look. It looks pretty bad. That 
whatever dog was in here did not like it. Um, but yeah, this is how it looks. It's like throughout the whole, sorry for the footage, but yeah, it was throughout that whole side. On this side, um, there was nothing, but this side, this dog was like not happy about being in the kennel at all. And um, for the door, ours actually didn't have the little hook that goes here. Um, but yeah, they zip tied it and it was all good. And this is the Pet May Very Kennel. It is the Sirius 700. So I definitely, my last suggestion is that if you're going to have your dog fly cargo, my my last suggestion is that you definitely put like in your carry-on or an, an easily accessible bag your dog's leash treats um treats food a leash or like a harness her collar his collar um because she was hungry when when we got her i know they did feed her i'm assuming they did feed her because um her food was gone and homegirl did poop when we get, got her and she didn't pee though well she had already peed in her in her kennel but um yeah she was hungry so we didn't have extra food with us so we had to give her like a bunch of treats and just keep giving her treats and give her treats. Um, but yeah, I definitely suggest you have whatever food that you give your pet with you. Um, obviously, if you give raw food, that's not possible. But yeah, um, that's it for this video. I hope it helped y'all at least answer some of your questions. If it didn't, I'll be linking the Facebook group below that I use to help me with all of this. And I'll be linking all the other Facebook groups as well. And for the base Facebook group, it doesn't necessarily have to be for Germany. It could also be for Japan, England, wherever you're going. The group is called PCS with Pets. So, hope it helps. And I'll see you guys next to my next video.